Good morning, y'all. It's Monday morning and I'm still a mess. I've been up since at least six. Got my son to work, got back, and um, haven't really accomplished anything this morning. I spent a little bit of time going through my history on YouTube looking for the lady that I told you about that was very helpful to me about giving me the tip when I was trying to start my seeds. Uh, I went so far back in my history, I literally thought I was going to get motion sickness, just going and going and going. I'm like, don't know why I can't find her, and I hate the fact I did not subscribe to her channel when I viewed it. And, uh, Hopefully, maybe later on, Lord willing, I'll come across her and I will subscribe and I'll let y'all know who she was. So, no, Carla, um, it wasn't the Patera homestead in the Appalachians or who you were talking about. Um, before I continue on, I'm going to go ahead and share my Bible verse this morning. Um, well, I got it right here in front of me. Goodness gracious, y'all. Uh, it was 2 Corinthians 9. Here it is. 9 verse 6. But, I, but this I say, He which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. And that just goes along the lines, I think it was Carla, or was it Eve, y'all? I am sorry, I am sorry. I am trying to keep up with each and every one of y'all's comments. And before I finish what I was going to say about that Bible verse, I just want to let y'all know, I do not get notifications for whatever reason when y'all do comment. I just have to go back on my channel, punch on one comment, and then I may see where others of y'all have commented. Okay, Allie is meowing. Let me, hold on. Where are you, kitty cat? Be right back. y'all. I'm here at the house alone. Everybody's out either working or doing their thing and thought I would be able to do this video without a distraction. Not possible when you have pets. But anyway, okay, where was I going to? Um, I was talking about the comments. So y'all, I am not trying to overlook anybody. You know, I'm speaking from my heart. Y'all's comments mean a lot to me. And I'm thinking I'm seeing them all, and I may not exactly comment back, but I do try to leave, let you know I have seen it. And with that being said, back to the verse where he says, um, he that um, sows, where did it go? He which soweth sparingly, shall also reap sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. And it reminded me of uh, what I think I told Eve in a comment. I said, yeah, when I first started this channel, and it was about the makeup, and I really, I really didn't know where I was going when I started with the makeup. I didn't know, I just didn't know. But as I went on, I thought, well, they might enjoy this. They might enjoy this. And that's why I've thrown in a little bit of gardening, a little bit of pets, a little bit of cooking, and whatever else I think could help y'all. And then in turn, y'all could help me with your suggestions, which I very much appreciate. So, but I think I was, I think it was Eve I, I replied, but it was either Eve or Carla. It was one of you ladies. 
but I said in the comment back to them, and y'all also read the comments. I wish y'all would read the comments here on this channel because um, I love them. And uh, that way y'all know what I'm talking about when I'm mentioning something, maybe. Um, but what I replied back to one of those ladies, Eve or Carla, or it might not have been it, but anyway, to get to it. When I started the channel with the makeup, um, I had in the back of my mind, this may be a good way to witness to other people, ladies. But you know the devil, he's always gonna put doubt um, and add his negativity in your mind. And I thought, uh, you don't know who's going to read this. If you want subscribers, you better not talk about it. Um, and if you get subscribers, they may they may think you're preaching to them and they're not going to want to hear it and they'll go somewhere else. But then, you know, I got to thinking, well, if I was truthful when I said I'm not here to be a YouTube fan, I mean a YouTube star and have scores of subscribers, can't talk about, cannot talk out of both sides of my mouth. So yeah, I'm going to talk about the Lord and I hope it helps someone um, because that's just it. Um, I don't want to reap, you know, like my, my garden out there, for instance. I'm planning, hoping to reap. Uh, it is a small garden and I think it's a small garden for me, um, but I keep wanting to plant more and more and more and more. And, you know, what am I going to do with if it all comes in? Well, I'm going to share it for one thing because if, if the Lord blesses it like I'm praying he will, I'll have so much squash and tomatoes and beans. I'm not going to know what to do with so, yeah, you know, you plant in expectation of a good harvest. So, how, how, about, how about just uh, taking that opportunity and um, plant God's words? And it may be something y'all need to hear today. If it's just one person, I'm good with one person. And that reminds me, too, uh, in the Bible, and I can't tell you specifically where it's at. I know it's New Testament, but... You know, when the, I think it were the 10 lepers. Oh, no, 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 it wasn't that. That, that, that was another subject. Um, it was about where the Lord told Lot, you know, you're, I'm going to destroy Sodom and you need to come out of it. And Lot I think Lot's question was, well, will you destroy it if there are a hundred good people in there? And the Lord says, no, if, you, if there's a hundred good people, no, I won't destroy it. If there's so many, so many, so many, so many, and then finally it got down to one. And finally, I think he said, no, I won't destroy it for that. And I may have this all messed up, but I think if y'all know your Bible, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm like this. Hey, if I'm helping one person out there with a Bible verse, if it's just one verse, it's worth it. So, yeah. So, that's, that's, that was my thoughts on that. Um, now, I just kind of briefly went over some of the comments before I got on here. And y'all, you know, I do not mean to leave anybody out. But these were just a few that I had a short time to jot down, and I was going to... <sighs> okay, so I answered Carla's question about the, the homestead thing. Nope, that wasn't it. Uh, Diana Natalie said she missed naming the kittens because she, she just missed. Well, I'm sorry, you didn't see it, Natalie. Um, Dee Dee Flowers said it might be good to put the kittens in a room where they'll have space to run around. I've already 
thought about that. I'm thinking now that it's warmer weather here and they will be okay, I can put them down in my she shed where I started my seedling. So that's gonna happen sometime, Lord willing, this week. I'm going to get them out of the bedroom and put them in a room where they can run around and get a litter box and all that stuff in there. So, um, uh, Miss, Miss Joy Fox, I'm just saying hello because she was a new subscriber a few comments down. So, hey, hey, Joyce. Um, Kay Wright, I think, said she enjoys the Bible verses. Um, Gloria Perconti uh, is a new subscriber. Uh, baby boy, Sandra uh, Kalaja, y'all commented and I took note of that. Um, Lin, Lin, Lynette, or La, La Annette, Foxy, Eleanor mentioned about the kittens, and y'all, I appreciate all those names, but thank goodness we got them all named. It was, uh, Callie, Patchy, Smokey, Torty, and Elmo, and, uh, some friends are already wanting, wanting one or two of them, different people. And I know, hopefully, Lord willing, they will go to a good home in, in that case. Uh, what else? Um, I My son's wedding is coming up this Saturday. So I haven't, I didn't wash my hair yesterday and I didn't wash it the day before because I, I've colored my hair since I was 16. I mean, I started off using Sun In. And, um, from there it just went from coloring it from then on out. So, but I've learned throughout the years and y'all, y'all know when you color your hair, they say it's best to color it when blooming ink, you, you just show Rebecca Charles just, okay. I just got a notification from Rebecca Charles and I'll have to read it when I get done with this, Rebecca. Um, so yeah, so I'm I try to go a couple of days when I know I'm going to color it because yeah, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and wash that gray right out of my hair. And I'm gonna cut it, give me some get some bangs back and get rid rid of uh yeah, I color and cut my hair. So yeah. And I figured, well, if I goof any, at least with the color, at least I'll have a little bit of time to fix it before the wedding. Because that's happened too. Um, what else? Where else was I going? Oh, so, and I got my brisket out there on the grill that I planned on having yesterday. And, um, I'll just step out there and go show y'all because I need to check it anyway. And it's cold here in Alabama, but it's beautiful. It's just a little bit windy. Um, <clears throat> No, like I said, I thought I was going to do my brisket for lunch or, you know, started at lunch yesterday so we could have it supper last night. And that didn't turn out. But I don't know if y'all can even see that. But see, okay, a lot of people have smokers and I don't have a smoker. I just have a gas grill. So I, because we got a lot of hickory trees around here. So I just go and clip me off some hickory limbs and throw in there and that, that does the job. So... And, um, yeah, that should be ready. I started it at 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. It will be, Lord willing, it will be ready for supper. Um, it'll cook on the grill for like four hours, and then I'll take it off, wrap it up tightly in foil, and then put it back on the grill for another two hours. And it'll be ready. And I douse it every time, every other time I check it with um, apple juice. Okay. And I did try to do a live yesterday because Rob and Cece both said, and I was disgusted about this again. They said that they just happened to notice, for whatever reason, YouTube. <clears throat> unsubscribe them. So, if y'all would be so 
kind as to check your subscription and make sure you are still, still subscribed. And, 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 um, what is today? Today is Monday. Um, I have gone from Friday having 600 to today it's up to about 635. So they're coming, they're coming. And like I said, when I get to a thousand subscribers, I'll be happy. And I haven't done my part yet. It's like I said, that I planned on doing sharing with, okay, this is, this is another thing. My bestie or one of my besties, I, ha I just have, you know, just a small group of what I consider very best friends. But I was talking to her yesterday at church and I was telling her something about my makeup channel. She says, makeup channel? I didn't know you had a makeup channel. I said, how did I not tell you? She said, I don't know anything about it. So I'll send her a link and hopefully she will share with her other friends and you know, this person tell that person, this person tell that person, and then uh, maybe I can get it up there soon. Oh, what else? What else? So yeah, just check your subscription. Make sure you're still a subscriber. And um, I'm gonna tell you, the reason I tell y'all, I do this so much. I will go to something on Facebook or something on YouTube and I'll read it, watch it, whichever, and then I'll go to the comments. And sometimes I will get more information out of the comments or more laughs out of the comments than I did the actual thing I looked at. And that's why I say, y'all, if you get a chance, just pay attention to the comments here. And I am going to, y'all all mean, a, a lot to me, but Arlene and Susie and both these ladies say they are widows and it bums them when they get up and they look on their laptop or their device or whatever. They enjoy watching my videos, but what they said in their comments, y'all about brought me to tears. I'm like, this is worth it. Y'all are all worth it, but just understand what I'm trying to say, please. Um, and it still tickles me the time that Asia said that her little 15 year old says, mom, you need to watch this girl. And, uh, so Asia in Alaska has been watching and uh, the ladies in the UK and Australia, South Africa, I'm like, but I mean, I'm enjoying it so much. Y'all, I'm all over the place this morning. Um, but I'm probably going to go shower, run down the drugstore, find me some hair color, come back, and I will not boy, bore y'all to tears on showing how I'm going to do it. But I did think, you know what? I could do one of those little speeding... Uh, fast play videos. I don't know. I'm thinking about it and, uh, let you see how it turns out. I mean, you're going to see how it turns out eventually sometime Lord willing this week, but, um, oh, what else? I guess that's about it for right now. Um, just remember to, uh, subscribe. If you're a newbie, pardon my looks. This is, you know, what you see is not always what you get. And that's from two, two, two perspectives. I can look like a Raggedy Ann right now and a completely different person when I got my makeup on. And, uh, so... This is Monday morning, and I do my best to keep it real. And uh, it's like I was telling, I think it was Eve, or Evelyn. I told her the other day, things that I, I, I have to keep it real. Because if I didn't keep it real, I would be a fake, and I cannot stand fake. 
and um, I could go down a rabbit hole on that one, but I'll just leave it there. Oh, y'all, I don't know how I can share this, but I'm going to mention this too before I get off here, because yesterday at church, our preacher got onto the discussion of the way this world is today. And he printed out a pamphlet that was about like so many pages. And it came from the UNO. And the agenda was decriminal decriminalizing criminals. If and I don't know if these laws in this thing that he printed out are already in effect or they're pushing them to come into effect. It's here, folks. Iniquity is coming to the full. And I, it, it's got to be where it's about to be rolling over. And the best thing we can do is pray, come Lord Jesus, and do what we can to get ready to meet him. Because like so many that I'm acquainted with says, we don't know what, what he's waiting on to return. He's got to be close. And if there was any way that I could share that, maybe I can screenshot a picture and y'all could look it up yourself. But it's unbelievable what's in it. It is unbelievable what they are pushing. And when I say, and it says it, decriminalizing criminals of the worst sort. It's sickening. To be expected, though. Okay, y'all. I'm going to get off here and see if I can get something done. And uh, catch with y'all later. Y'all enjoy your day and keep those comments coming. See y'all.